Okay, hi there, welcome back. Uh, let's think about uh, this time the effect of a fall in a nation's currency. Here's the chart showing the Kenyan shilling against the dollar. Back in 2020, you would have had to give up 100, 105 shilling to buy one US dollar. But by the end of 2023, that's gone up to 140. So the purchasing power of the shilling against the US dollar has gone down. In other words, the Kenyan currency has depreciated. So what might some of, some of the macroeconomic effects of this be for Kenya? Lots of potential points. Here are the three that I've chosen to focus on. Hopefully this will be useful for you. First of all, the, the cost of importing into Kenya will go up. So the things that Kenya imports, including things like pharmaceuticals and fertilisers, food and fuel, that will become more expensive, especially things that are priced in US dollars, which many things that are traded globally are. So a fall in the exchange rate risks adding to costs, push inflationary pressure in Kenya and also worsening their net trade balance, X minus M, particularly if the price elasticity of demand for those imports, things like pharmaceuticals, for example, is less than one. In other words, if the coefficient is low, demand is price inelastic, uh, there'll be a significant rise in total spending on imports because the price has gone up, but demand stays more or less the same, you spend more. Second consequence could be the cost of borrowing for the Kenyan government. You see, a lot of uh, most of the debt issued by the Kenyan government is priced in dollars. So we would call that dollar denominated loans. And if the shilling falls against the US dollar, then that debt, the external debt that Kenya has, will grow, become harder to repay in particular. So the Kenyan government is at risk of increased risk of debt default, where you default on one or more of your payments. So those were two negatives. On the other hand, there is a positive. Uh, there are export opportunities. Kenya is an export nation. The things that Kenya has a comparative advantage in, tea, coffee, horticulture farmers, agribusinesses, in theory, they will benefit. First of all, they may be able to sell their products at a better price in the global markets. And also, they learn, they learn more shillings per dollar for their products. So hopefully the price elasticity demand for Kenyan exports will be quite high. A falling fall in the value of the shilling will cause a boost to their export demand. On the other hand, of course, uh, Kenyan exporters may have to import energy and component parts. And as I said, things like farm pesticides and fertilizers, and they will cost more. And that can dampen the positive effect of a currency depreciation. So there we go, thinking about Kenya, there were three examples of the macro effects, macroeconomic effects of a currency depreciation. Thanks for joining in.